Today we are going to ask a question that says differentiate between communality and uniqueness in factor analysis. So I actually have tried to avoid uh, writing so much uh, uh, maths and so much uh, calculation, so much derivation uh, in this, in this uh, series, but it seems I can't escape it. So uh, for me to be able to explain this formula I have here, I'm going to write a bit about factor analysis. So let's say we have A, which this A is uh, the loading matrix. I already explained this in one of the questions, loading matrix. Matrix of coefficient that shows how each variable relates to each factor. And then we have F is the common factor matrix. Okay, so I will have U is a unique factor matrix. So in, in factor analysis, you obtain all these matrices, uh, unique factor matrix. All right. So um, so we have M expected value of X of X. So once you are given a set of variables, uh, you can now express it in terms of all of these. In fact analysis, you now express it in terms of all of these. A dot F plus U plus M. Okay. So this is the basics of fact analysis. Now, what are all the, the meaning of all these things? I'm not going to go further to explain it uh, bit by bit. So let's now go to commonality and uniqueness. Remember that in factor analysis, there are some variants that are caused by the common factors, or let's say there are variants caused by uh, common factors among the independent variables. So you have x1, x2, x3, there's covariance between these, and there is also a variation unique to all the, all the variables you have. So let me read out the explanation. We have commonality and uniqueness at times in factor analysis used to describe variance. Commonality is a portion of the variance that is contributed by common factors. Uniqueness is a part of the variance that is not explained by the common factors. So if we have the total variance in our data, I'm going to use another color. So if we have the total variance in our data to be ii, uh, is equal to the variance caused by xi, which is the total variance from j is equal to 1 to k, so aij squared plus, then you have this, ii. So in this equation of total variance, we have this term, uh, this term, which is this term, the, the first term for j is equal to 1 to k a i j squared. So this is called communality. So this term is the portion of the variance that is contributed by the common factors. And this, the next nice one, which is this. So actually, this is not theta, it's some, it's, it should be phi or something. So this is called uniqueness. Again, I'm not trying to explain everything bit by bit and deriving all the, the formula. I'm just trying to help you understand the concept. So what is the, the point? The point is that commonality is a portion of the variance. Uh, sorry, okay. The portion of the variance that is contributed by the common factors and uniqueness is a portion of the variance that is not explained by the common factors. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and in the next question, which is actually the last question, we are now going to discuss what are the steps in performing principal component analysis.